and good morning. It is 3.51 in the a.m. on Tuesday, 21 November 2023, a couple of days before Thanksgiving. We are eastbound on Bonita Beach Road in Bonita Springs, Lee County, Florida. Our current speed is 45 miles an hour. We're crossing abandoned railroad tracks. Those haven't been used in decades, probably half a century. We're approaching the intersection of Old 41, crossing Old 41. We'll position ourselves in the right lane going to be driving up to Imperial Boulevard or Parkway, one or the other, I'm not sure which one it is, and then we will be turning right heading southbound. Beautiful, clear morning, temperature is... 68, 70 degrees at the moment. We've got some coffee. And this is it, Imperial Parkway. Yeah, this is it here. Looks like we have a cyclist on our right. We're going to make a very careful right turn here. Southbound on Imperial Parkway, speed limit is 45 miles an hour. There's a cemetery there. Huh. just talking to some people about uh, car accidents down here in this area and there's really quite a few car accidents uh, we we're just talking about that it's really dangerous it's really dangerous I suppose there's a lot of car accidents everywhere but there's a, a disproportionate number of elderly drivers in this area, or senior drivers. These are people who are over the age of 70, 75, they're in their 80s, or even 90s, and you know, they're driving. get to be that age, your reflexes aren't the same, your vision is not the same, uh, it's, it's really, uh, can be, can be dangerous, so you have to be careful, they run stop signs, I mean everyone does, I'm not singling out senior drivers. talk in general now. There's people who are they're running stop signs, they're running red lights, they are uh, making right turns on red when they really shouldn't be, they should really be waiting. Uh, they are cutting other people off. They're trying to squeeze in between one vehicle and another vehicle. an issue. 
got a vehicle passing on the left. It's a Ford F-150, four-door, like a four-door sedan. Basically, that's what those things are now. Just four-door sedans that they chop the trunk off and they put a little short bed on there. Yeah, the Ford F-150, it's a very popular, uh, unmarked, sometimes marked, but also unmarked uh, law enforcement vehicle down here. Very popular. They blend in. There's so many Ford F-150s running around. Uh, they, they just blend right in. It's like in New York City, the New York City Police Department. They have police cars disguised as taxis, and the taxis are indistinguishable from other taxis, these police cars. They're indistinguishable. I think back in the day, they were much more, if you knew, they were easier to identify, but today they are really, really good. I mean, they've really done a good job. Like, Back in the day, they were uh, they were using um, the Ford Crown Victoria. Uh, most taxi cabs back in the let's say the 80s, 90s, early yeah the 2000s, the early 2000s, or all the 2000s. Most taxi cabs for those 20, 30 years were the Ford Crown Victoria. The Ford Crown Victoria in New York City taxi cab was everywhere. I mean, just literally, that was just about all they were using. I think it probably replaced the Marathon taxi cab. So, I mean, the police were already using the Ford Crown Victoria. So, the paint went up to look like, like a taxi cab was easy. wasn't difficult at all. But there were subtle differences between a New York City taxi cab and uh, a New York City Police Department taxi cab. There were subtle differences. One of them being that <clears throat> the New York City Taxi cabs, the Ford Crown Victoria taxi cabs, were long wheelbase versions of the Ford Crown Victoria. Now, a lot of people don't know that the Ford Crown Victoria came in a short and long wheelbase version because they weren't sold to the public like that. Like, you know, you wouldn't be able to go into a Ford dealership and say, Gee, I'd like a long wheelbase Ford Crown Victoria. No, that's not how it worked. But if you were a fleet operations manager for a taxi company, you could order from Ford Crown Victorias with long wheelbases. And I don't know how much longer they were. It could have just been four inches, could have been five inches. Collier County deputy is parked up ahead. Speaking of law enforcement, right up ahead on the left in the center median, just put his brake lights on, headlights on, and he's moving. Hopefully he's not moving in our direction. There he is. Or there she is. Just sitting there. Still sitting there. We're doing 45 miles an hour. Speed limit is 45 miles an hour. Yeah, still sitting there. Doesn't seem to have moved. So, where were we? New York City taxi cabs. They were long wheelbase 
Ford Crown Victorias. They were long wheelbase and they had one tailpipe. So there was one muffler in the back and one tailpipe coming out. The New York City Police Department undercover police taxis, they were actually police cars. So they were short wheelbase. And they had the police specific modifications such as dual exhaust, such as heavy duty alternator, heavy duty brakes, you know, heavy duty radiator, that sort of thing. So if you saw a taxi cab and it had two tailpipes and it was a short wheelbase, well, that's a cop. Speaking of cops, there's the sheriff passing us on the left. Again, I'm doing 45 miles an hour, so the deputy's probably traveling at 50, 51, I'm guessing. Not sure where the deputy is going. Again, speed limit is 45, I'm traveling at 45. We're approaching the intersection of Goodlett Frank. Yeah, this is Goodlett Frank. And the deputy is still in the left lane. It looks like the def deputy will be traveling southbound on 41. Speed limit 45. This is Arthrex Boulevard or Arthrex Road. That Civic probably doing 55. Doesn't know there's a deputy up there, but got a red light, so there's no. Right lane. This is forty one. Northbound. And we are northbound, ladies and gentlemen. Walmart on our left, Publix and Starbucks on our right. Coming up here to Jermaine BMW. Speed limit is, I believe, 50, and I believe it goes up to 55. We'll bring this vehicle up close to 50. So yeah, the New York City Police Department, uh, even to this day, I believe they still have the uh, the undercover taxis, except now with the internet and YouTube and people's websites and things, there's photographs and videos of these taxis all over the place. And uh, so they're not as uh, well. They're still stealthy, but they're known. I mean, people know that they exist. Not that that's a big deal. I think I've seen them, I mean, I've spent a lot of time in New York, so I've seen them driven by plainclothes police officers, and I've seen them driven by uniformed officers. I've seen them with uh, two uniformed officers, and I've seen them uh, with one uniformed officer, and I've seen them with one officer in civilian clothing. And the, um, 
obviously they have audible sirens mounted. And then for emergency lights, what I saw or what I've seen were uh, wigwags where the headlights alternate back and forth. And then red lights in the grill, uh, sort of behind, you know, behind the grill, they had red lights. And then a strobe, flashing strobes out of the rear, I believe it was the rear reverse lights. And that was about it. I don't even think they put a revolving red light on the roof, or I don't even think they put a revolving red light on the dash. They may have, you know, they may have had one if they needed it, but I certainly, I didn't see it. You know, those days of pulling out a revolving red light or blue light and putting it on the roof, those days are really gone. I haven't seen anybody doing that in a long time. In fact, I haven't seen a revolving light. God. Decades. Red light at Woods Edge Parkway. Oh, yeah. Edge Parkway, red light. But we have cross traffic. Wow, look at that. But it wasn't set off by the vehicle detection camera. You know how we know that? Because it's broken. That car just caught the automated. The automated system. All right, green light. Northbound. Here we go. 4.08 a.m. 